hi everyone i'm tracy and welcome to today's video so today's topic is gonna be just um i guess kind of a combination using some of my current favorite brushes using mostly clean beauty products i didn't have clean everything but i did get some new items that i want to share with you guys and um i also am going to be going over a little bit towards the end of the video some of the black friday specials but if you don't want to wait i'll list all of that info in the description so you can go see that and um, i'm going to be doing this look please enjoy the rest of the video i look like i just rolled out of bed and that is because i did it's um it's thanksgiving vacation and so I'm like in vacation mode and it got really cold this past couple weeks. So it really feels like winter, which I love. So I saw a dear friend of mine this past week and she's really into clean beauty and that's all she uses. And I really trust her opinion. I'm not like going clean, but I am starting to lean more in that direction. I, I have been because I already had a lot of clean beauty products. But I got um, a few other items that I heard were really great and that are clean as well. So um, I'm going to just kind of start doing my makeup and then try to fill you guys in on some of the like brush updates and give you guys some tips on how to, I guess, navigate the sales that are going on right now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this new product. It's the Huda Beauty Glowish Primer. It looks like, yeah, it looks like jelly or jam. Okay, that's what it's called. It's called the Pure Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Primer. So I didn't have a clean primer, nor did I have a clean foundation. So if anyone has a recommendation for a clean foundation, please let me know. But I figured for now, if I put the clean primer on, maybe that will protect my skin from the foundations I'm using. So let's see how this works. It feels really nice. It's very cooling. And it does feel smoothing. It kind of feels like a, you know, a silicone-y type of primer but a little bit more on the hydrating side. So I'll show you what it looks like when I take it out. It looks like, um, like a matte gel. Very interesting. And I would say my skin looks a little smoother. Okay. My skin, yeah, feels really, really smooth. So hope this works out. Okay, now I'm going to use, I'm going to, um, I mix the two NARS foundations that I really like, the Light Reflecting and the Long, uh, Natural Long Wear, and that's what I've been doing. I'm going to apply that with the Refer 31, which is one of the better foundation brushes I have, and Refer is having their big Black Friday sale, which is 50% off everything, I think. And I've used this brush on camera before. And it's good at just like canceling out everything if that's what you're trying to do. I'm going to try to keep this look pretty simple. I'm not going to do like a glam look or anything. Okay, that looks good. I'm now going to use the Dior Backstage Concealer. I'm going to put it on my palette here. And then I'm going to use, which one should I use? I'm going to go with the Chikohoda RS9. It's one of the smaller ones. I'm going to just um, prime my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with the LYS Powder which is also a, a clean product. I 
I like these brushes because it gets you know really close to your brows you can kind of cover up what's going on over there and get into these little areas here this isn't the fastest way to do your concealer but it's the most specific way if you really want to only get your concealer where your brush is and I'll just conceal underneath while I'm at it and these brushes really save product because you don't need much at all So CD Japan is having a promotion. So if you spend like 15,000 yen, you get, if you spend 15,000 yen, you get 1,500 off, which is, I don't know, like 12, $13. I'll put the details down below um, because they all have their own coupon code. So the way they do it is if you, so you spend that amount and then they give you a credit for your next order. And if you do plan on making orders for brushes in the future, I feel like CD Japan has the best rewards program. You always have something, uh, some sort of points when you order. It's usually like 5,000 yen, which is like, I don't know, three to $4 now. But a lot of times I'll get even more, like if they have like these specials, they'll give you, you know, like an extra 500 yen for spending a little bit more. Now I'm going to use the, the Koyuro P3, which is, has been one of my favorite eye brushes, just to kind of smooth out or set my concealer so that it doesn't crease. All right, now I'm gonna start my eye look and I've been just so into the Natasha Denona Dream Palette. I've been using this nonstop. I don't have a clean eyeshadow palette anyways. So what I've been doing is just sticking with the neutral colors because every time I use like the, the brighter colors, my look just comes out a little too dramatic and I don't always want a dramatic look. I'm going to start out with the Bristles Beauty, the E1, the bigger blending brush, which I've been really liking. I'm going to put like a light, a light, slightly shimmery shadow. That's how I like to start off my looks. And then I'm going to go in with, let's see, this kind of like taupey shade. I'm going to stick to like maybe three shades this time just to give my eyes some definition. So this brush really reminds me of the Wayne Goss 3 because of the way it's cut and the fact that the hairs are so soft. I've been really gravit gravitating towards this brush for the transition shade and also for the final blend. I'm going to use the Refer 13 to start deepening out the lower lash line and the outer corner. I'm not going to do too much detail work today. I'm really trying to keep it simple.
I'm going to use the Artist RS6. I think you can get this on CD Japan. It's a mix of um, pine scroll hair and weasel hair, but it's pretty. It's a pretty fluffy brush, and I got it for concealer, but I've been actually liking it for shimmers. If I don't want like a super strong shimmer look, I just want something maybe a little bit more subtle. I'll try this kind of peachy shimmer shade from the, the Dream Palette, my Dream Palette. And just put that all over. I really love Natasha Denona shimmer shades. I think they're my favorite. I like how you can make them subtle, but you can also make them dramatic. And you see how this brush is like getting the shimmer exactly where I want it to. But in the, not like a super painted on way. It's like a very natural. Refer 3 to line. I'm going to pick up this really dark brown shade. Under the eyes, I'm going to use the um, Sonia G Detail Lotus Brush. Make sure I got any fallout off. That's what I love about nice brushes is like there's no fallout, and I use those shimmer glitter shades. I was going to powder that, which I usually do first, but I forgot. I just always love the look I get <clears throat> when I use the neutral shades in this the dream palette. They always just kind of go together. I don't have to like think too much. So now we're going to move on to the bronzer and blush. I don't have a clean cream bronzer anymore. I did and I, I gave it away, but I have the Huda Beauty Glowish. It's in the shade 2 medium. It's a little light for me, but we're going to see now that I've kind of lost a lot of my summer color. I'm going to see how, how that works out. So for that, and I feel like with this formula, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of soft and spongy. So I need a firm brush. I'll try the Chikohoto T2. Let's see if this We'll pick it up. I'm not going for like a really defined look or anything. I kind of just want to add a little color. And I think that kind of does, does the trick. I really like the Huda Beauty Glowish products, the ones I've tried at least, like this bronzer, I have some of the blushes, and now I have the primer. I really like it, and I love that they're clean products, they're not crazy expensive, and they look really nice. I probably could have gone with a shade darker for this product, but it's what I have. So I have, have a couple of options for clean blush. I have this Merit Cream Blush in Cheeky. I really like this formula, but this shade in particular is like a berry shade. Sometimes does not complement my look. It's a little bit, this is more like a sunburnt, a little bit more of a summery shade. So let me go with I'll go with the Magic Hour and 
I'm going to use the Refer 37, which is my has been my favorite cream blush brush, the number four as well, but this one's a little bit newer, so I'm going to use this one. And this is like one of my all-time favorite blushes. It goes with every look. It's, I think it's very universal. I have the peachy one, but this one I think just always works. I'm always so pleased with how it comes out. I just try not to use it too much because I guess it's kind of boring. Really need to put some lipstick on. Okay, and then um, I'm going to use the Merit Cream Highlighter. It's in Kava. And I'm going to use the... I've been using the Ruffer 35 because it's very small. It's, it's a very dense brush. It's also um, the right size for me for where I like to put my highlighter. I don't like a really strong highlighter look, so I'm just going to get it right here. And I like how this doesn't have a lot of pigment, so it doesn't like make your skin look like gray or, you know, ashy. Sometimes highlighters have a little too much pigment in it, and it kind of covers up what you have underneath. This one lets your skin shine through or, you know, lets your other makeup shine through. And it's just very natural. I'm generally not into cream highlighters, but this one, this one's really nice. I'm going to soften up the eye look. I'm going to be using a pretty bold lip color, so I'm going to try to really tone this down. I'm going to use the um, E1 brush again from Bristles. I'm cleaning it off and I'm going to just blend all this together and just kind of lighten it. I don't want it to be a strong eye look. If you don't do this step, I highly, highly recommend it. It has made such a huge difference in how my eyeshadow comes out. I didn't do it for years, and I'm so glad I figured out how to do it without erasing the work you did. But the key is using a soft, fluff, fluffy eye brush like this. I would recommend the Wayne Goss 3, but um, this is no longer being made. So I'm going to try the new not the new, new to me Merit Mascara. And this is a clean beauty product, but I also bought it because it's a tubing mascara. So if you have not used a tubing mascara, I highly, highly recommend trying it. The removal of a tubing mascara is 20 times easier than a normal mascara. It doesn't stain your eyes, your skin, you know, this area, and you just put some warm water and it literally falls off. I normally use the Thrive Cosmetics, but I figured why not try this one? I heard it's really good. So let me show you guys what the wand is. a pretty standard wand. So compared to the Thrive Cosmetics, this one's a more, I would say, um, gives your eyes, your eyelashes more of a fluffy look, a little bit more natural. The Thrive Cosmetics is lengthening, but it kind of looks a little spidery, which I don't mind that much, but this one looks, yeah, this one, my lashes look more natural. Let's try it on the lower lash line. Yes, 
I really like the way that product came out. Okay, and now the product I'm really excited about is I got another of their lipsticks and the Merit Lip Stick Formula is one of my favorites. I have the shade Millennial, which I love. I've been using this quite a lot. And I tried, I went with something different. I tried the color Fashion, which is a, a berry color, which um, is pretty, pretty dark. What I'm gonna do is, because I don't have a lip liner, I can't think of a lip liner I have that matches. I'm sure I, I have one, I just can't think of it. I'm gonna use the lip brush to line and then fill it in. Cause I do like my lips to have like more definition. I don't like, like putting like a lip stain on. So I'm gonna use the Koyuto lip brush and I believe you can still get this one. If you are ordering brushes and you don't have a lip brush, I do highly recommend trying one. I really do like having a lip brush. I was talking and I messed up the line. I really, really like this color. It's not too, um, too deep of a berry shade, which I like. And I feel like with this lip formula, they're kind of, um, they're not, op they're not sheer, but they're not like super opaque. So that makes them very forgiving. You know, like if I make a little bit of a crooked line, it doesn't really matter so much like some of the other really um, opaque lip formulas. But I have been really liking the Hakuhodo G6440. This is my newest Hakuhodo brush. I have been really liking it with the Hourglass finishing powders or finishing pow powders in general. But what makes this brush even better is it fits into the little um, Hourglass pans. I'm gonna use this, the shade Soft Light, which is kind of on the lighter side for me, but I'm gonna use it like under the eyes. sides of the face and then I'm going to use dim light on the perimeter. I like how this shade kind of like highlights very subtly. Use dim light on the perimeter. Okay, I think that did a good job at not taking away the glow, which is, I didn't want to happen. And I'm really happy with it, with the way it came out. I think the star of the show is the lip color, which I was expecting to happen. And I really, I'm really, really happy with the products that I tried today. Um, the mascara is great. The primer is great and this lip color fashion i love it i'm so glad that i went with one of the bolder shades i was gonna go with their like i think it's called slip it's like a really neutral color but i have shades like that so i'm really loving this and i love that it's a clean product um you know when you are deciding like to go clean with certain products i think um products you put on your lips and this was confirmed by um, my friend who knows a lot about this stuff you're gonna eventually eat a lot of the lip product that you put on gloss liner lipstick so you know I think that's one of the items that you might want to consider to go clean with that and like lotions primers foundations things where your skin will absorb it and put it on a big area I think those two things are probably areas you might want to consider going clean first. At least that's my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful Black Friday. I did forget to mention if you're looking at buying brushes during this time of year. So Hakuhodo has a free shipping 
promotion, but I would not go for that because now in the US it's a hundred minimum to get the free shipping. So if you're going to be spending that much, you're better off ordering from Food Aid Japan where you can benefit from the exchange rate. So you're going to be paying less for the brushes, but you will, unless you spend over 50,000 yen, which is about $350, you are going to have to pay for shipping, which is about $21. But You'll be, you'll be saving more than 20% by going that route. Um, Hakuhoto USA does get your brushes to you very fast. Their customer service is amazing. Fude Japan is going to take a lot longer, but you're going to save a lot more money. So that is the way I would go. Also, a lot of brushes that are on Fude Japan are not available in the U.S. because of um, laws with certain kinds of materials are not allowed to be sold in the U.S. So for Hakuhoto, I really think you should go through Toshio, who runs the Fude Japan site. Um, and he has a good selection of a lot of other brands. If you want to go um, try out like a Takeda brush, like a really specialty brush, that's the way to go. But um, that is where I've been getting, especially now, I've been getting all of my Hakuhoto through Fude Japan. And um, Ruffer is having all of their, their all their brushes are 50% off. Bristol's Beauty, everything is 20% off. And uh, CD Japan is having their, um, you know, the special with the reward points. I'll put the details down below. And then Fude Beauty also has a lot of brushes on sale. I haven't looked too much into that, but um, all of the brands that I've been talking about I feel except for Hakuhoto they're some sort of you know discount you can get and Merit Beauty is also offering 20% off their entire site so um the products that I really like of course the lipstick um if you do like a cream highlighter this highlighter is really nice their cream blush formula is really nice I just this shade's a little bit deep for my preference and so far I'm really liking the mascara. It's the first time I'm using it, but I like how natural and how separated and how fluffy my lashes look. So, so far so good with this. And um, the, the Huda Beauty primer I think is really nice, but it was really nice going on. And um, yeah, my skin feels really smooth. Like it's not sticky and I didn't put a whole lot of powder on. Um, but anyhow, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.